I am not particularly fond of Christmas. I don't hate it, but it does not spark joy. Giving gifts can sometimes feel compulsory, and receiving them performative. Neither of these are fun. Add in the fact that there are only approximately three Christmas songs playing on repeat in any store you have the misfortune of stumbling into after about October the 9th, and it makes sense why a lot of us aren't fans of this expensive-ass family picnic. It's also just an awful time of the year. It's cold. It's crowded. There are members of your family you wish you could forget but can't, and others that you're supposed to remember but don't. Fox News has dispatched their war correspondents to the local toy stores, and most of us are diamond-handsing our clinical depression as it shoots for the moon. A quick aside, if you're feeling down for the holidays, please know that that's perfectly normal, as in statistically probable. A lot of people have a hard time with it, and although I'm not a therapist, I can speak from personal experience that it helps to have someone to talk to, even if it's just ranting about a children's card game to a friend or a Discord server. Drink water, do some light exercise, and if life tries to gand off your mental health, just counter with the ancient Persian trap card, this too shall pass. But back to the matter at hand. There's still a cultural expectation to celebrate this disaster day, but just because your family's traditions are lame doesn't mean you can't make your own. So I'm here to offer you one glimmer of hope in the middle of this bland and cash-grabbing holiday media season. I can't really make a top 10 list because there aren't 10 holiday movies that I enjoy. Honestly, a top 5 would be pushing it. So we're going to do a quick and streamlined top 1. Hello, I'm Hawkwood, and I'm going to tell you about the only good holiday movie. You would imagine, with my propensity for hating unoriginal bullshit, that I wouldn't be a fan of a rehash of an old story, especially in film, and especially, especially, at Christmas. But my heart grows three sizes every time I see a rich man get psychologically traumatized, so for me, A Christmas Carol was already a comedy. But in 1988, someone else finally realized it, and decided to run with the idea. That someone was, sort of, Bill Murray. Bill had done the unthinkable four years earlier in 1984 by leading the highest grossing comedy of that time, Ghostbusters. That apparently freaked him the fuck out, so he took a permanent break from acting, at least until he stopped stopping and unretired. The result? Scrooged a 1988 film retelling of A Christmas Carol told in the modern world, with Scrooge rewritten as a cynical TV executive with the anti-hero-ass sounding name of Frank Cross. Bahama. It's an absurd film with over-the-top characters, a love-to-hate-him protag antagonist, surprisingly good special effects, and a romance that was definitely written by a man. Also, the poster is pretty bitchin'. As is typical for Hollywood, the actual production of the film was apparently a nightmare. The director kept forcing the subtlety out of Bill's acting and rewriting the script. However, when the producers were going to force everyone to work on Christmas Day, on a movie about an executive forcing people to work on Christmas Day, the director decided to invent his own loophole and just fired everyone on Christmas Eve instead and hired them back a day later. So maybe he wasn't such a bad guy after all. Since the movie is a simple retelling of a classic story, there's really no plot to get caught up in. Instead, you can just relax and enjoy the insanity and Bill Murray's easy on-screen persona. I, at least I am the president uh, of the network tonight. Tomorrow morning I may not be. The film's version of The Four Ghosts still stands as my absolute favorite depiction. Adored by women. Adored. Let's be honest, Lou. You paid for the women. And includes the best cab driver of all time and the old woman from Kimmy Schmidt as a sexy fairy that allegedly actually did some damage to Bill Murray during their violent scenes. Honestly, there's not much else to say. It's funny, and I like it a lot. You still get the heartwarming Christmassy shit that makes my chest go all tight, 
and the sudden abject existential horror of the future. But you also get to see Bill Murray give a final monologue that's so unhinged that the screenwriters thought he was having a nervous breakdown. So I don't know, go watch it, I guess. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go back to avoiding my family and make a Christmas stocking for my cat. It will be filled with toys that she will not play with. Happy Holidays, everyone.